Hey guys, it's Chucky Conroy. Welcome back from more Earthbound. Now, in the last part, we just got here to Winters, and we got to check out Ananitz's lab because Apple Kid's in trouble. Now, right now, I'm going to tell you that you're going to want to call the Escargo Express right here and right now, have them deliver some stuff for you. I didn't mean to do the town map. All right. Okay. Now, let's look through these items here. We're going to want the pack of bubble gum. And we're gonna want the pencil eraser, I believe. I believe that's all we need. So, there you go. So we're gonna need two more spots in inventory. Now, when we were here with Jeff, we saw these ridiculously powerful items for sale. And you might think it'd be a good idea to buy these items now, because it's the first time you're required to come here in the game, so they must be really powerful. Well, not really. They actually intend for you to come here as soon as you get the ability to teleport and get those items, not when it's the first time you're required to come here in the game, so... Those items are not useful, we're gonna miss out on them. Now, while waiting for the Escargo Express, the main change in Winters here is that there's these robot enemies and aliens that have replaced the crows and dogs and gruff goats and all these easy enemies. So now you gotta deal with these guys, which is really a pain. And actually, if you teleport uh, here as soon as you get the teleport ability, uh, these guys will be here in place of the easy enemies. So... If you come here, as soon as you get Teleport Alpha, only having Teleport Alpha, and you gotta fight enemies like this, not intended for you to fight for like two more sanctuaries, you're pretty much screwed. Especially with just look at the terrain in Winters. Look how hard this would be to Teleport Alpha in. Well, actually right here it might not be too difficult, but still, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm talking about. Alright. Yes, I can pay $18. Okay, we got the items. Now, you might be wondering what we'll need these for. Anyway, um... We'll get to that in just a moment. I'm just helping you guys out, showing you in advance. And... That was bad. But at least the only... This is not taking much damage. Oh, of course. I was gonna say we're not taking much damage. Pooh gets, like, an attack that would be mortal for for his guts. Yeah, that's just great. Freaking five stars right there. Okay, at least Pooh's recovered. Jeff got a cold. Well, duh, we're in winters. I won! Alright, that was... Freaking five-star battle right there. It's healed Jeffy. Jeffy Weffy! Jeffrey! Okay, I'll stop. But anyway... Now, on the way, real quick and everything, now that we got the pack of bubblegum, there's something I forgot to show uh, when we had the pack of bubblegum last, like, I don't know how many parts ago, but anyway, um, let's go to where we got the pack of bubblegum, Who, who's ever inventory it's in, I believe it's in Poo's, yeah. Now, we uh, hit the help section like this, Pabble pack of bubblegum, this is the balloon monkey's favorite, that's a typo, it's bubble monkey. <laughs> Um, but anyway, um, as for that, his Japanese name is the Balloon Monkey, and it's believed by many that he was originally going to also be called the Balloon Monkey in the U.S. version, and that was an overlooked typo on Nintendo's part, by keeping the name the same in the item description. And, of course, Freeze isn't going to do much. Alright, die! Jeff fell asleep. How come Hypnosis is always falling asleep? How come there's never like a hypnotized stat in any game? I mean, it's like that in Pokemon, it's like that in Earthbound, it's like that in Final Fantasy. I don't know. Oh, Vitality went up by 2. Yay, Max Speed went up by 23. Awesome, Paula. You're actually not sucking in terms of HP in this playthrough. Anyway, um, just about done to Lake Tess. Hopefully, we won't run into any more enemies before we get there. Yay, I was right. Time for the Tessie Watching Club again. And let's find that one guy. Oh, wow. I finally saw Tessie. It's like seeing a UFO. It emerged from the lake and flew towards Stonehenge. It kidnapped one of my friends along the way. So there's UFOs? 
All right. Bubble Monkey, you left your girlfriend for Tessie. How could you? <laughs> yep, I have some chewing gum. Oh, that's right. I guess we don't need it. <laughs> Disregard what I said earlier, then. He has his own chewing gum. Well, at least I got to show you the typo. And hang on, I'll be right back. This is a bad time. <laughs> Sorry. Mmm. 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 Tom, I love Mexican food. Ah. Oh. Mexican food for the win. Oh. That's right, we're back. Okay. Anyway, that interruption, my mom was knocking on my door again while I was recording, and... She had Mexican food, so I went and got a bunch of it. Anyway. Let's ride down the waters! Ah, this is such... This is so aspiring to just break away into the water. I gotta make a wish, take a chance, make a change, and break away. What the f <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Screw you, Mom. Mom's stupid taste in music's actually had me listening to that song lately. Ugh. And now I'm singing it. Ugh. Hmm. Sorry. Bye, Tessie! Last time we're required to see you in the entire game! Have a nice life being an unused sprite! Alright. So, continuing. Let's do this. Ah. Kill it! Yeah, it's dead. Who didn't take a lot of damage? I love the scrolling HP like in Mega Man. Oh, lots of defense vitality. Nice. Okay. Good. Oh, Brain Shock Omega. That's very nice. Let's just do the Brain Shock Confusion Condition on all enemies. Very nice addition it is. Oh, wow. Back attack killed him. Sweet. Okay, now here's why you wanted the pencil eraser. Remember this? You don't want to walk all the way through Brick Road all over again. So let's just use the pencil eraser and skip it. If you want, when you do the sanctuary, you can just go through the caves and do that then and get it out of the way then, though, so you can get rid of the pencil eraser for good. But personally, I prefer doing it now. Just because I don't like going all the way through the caves early and having the risk of dealing with these enemies early. You're going to be hearing a little bit more crunching, though, because I'm just having so much fun having these tacos. They're so good. I even put my own hot sauce on them. So yeah, what have you guys been playing lately? I know We Fit came out yesterday. Uh, Sonic Dude's been having fun with that. He's been, quote, sweating his balls off playing it, though. Ugh. Still. <laughs> I can't believe the game actually rated him as obese. And <laughs> he actually went on camera and talked about it. He's like, I don't care. <laughs> God. Oh, and by the way, uh... Nah, never mind. Just go through these caves. These caves actually aren't really that long, though, when the enemies are, like, this weak and just keep running away from you. Hey. You know what? Back attack. Die. Oh, I actually have to fight it. Come on! These enemies are weak! I fought them, like, two chapters ago. I can kill them... Okay, I guess I can't kill them in one hit, but whatever. Same thing. Jeez, it's still not dead. Jeez! These are actually pretty strong enemies. Well, then it's a crocodile, and they usually have, like, a lot of defense, so... There you go. Now, if you want to heal up right here, you can at the Sanctuary, because you can keep going back to Sanctuaries and healing at them again and again, which is good if you want to grind, I guess, because enemies are run away from you, but... For now, we're just going to go to Andonuts' lab, which is where we got to go anyway, and we're just going to heal up the instant revitalizing machine there. I still never get why they added more of those iron things on the roof during localization. That doesn't make any sense. Alright, so... There's Apple Kid's mouse, but no Apple Kid. Let's see what he says. Waiting for you. A Master Apple Kid completed this eraser eraser machine. When he was calling you, he was kidnapping you. It felt like this. 
Oh, now I think I can do a good impression of the exclamation mark sound. <laughs> okay, that was horrible. The Metal Gear Solid, but whatever. But then, you know, there's five of them, so it'd be like... <laughs> Alright, whatever. I was there, but helpless. Sorry about that. Anyway, take this machine. Pooh got the eraser eraser. And on the note of getting the eraser eraser, we're going to cut this short right here. So if you like my stuff, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me a five-star views down below this video. And be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one. In the next part, we're going to try to find Apple Kid. All right? See what's going down. All right. See you guys later.